each individual lies the need for meaning, the longing to be of value. The cravings for purpose propelled us to make the choices that will bring us the most joy and satisfaction from life. The recited the line, Government College would forever remember you, repeatedly while in school. After the school community dispersed them into the world to swap, the lines still resonate in their minds. To whom much is given, much is expected. 20 years down the line, the return to give back to the alma mater, Government College Agege, a sick bay to the alumni of GCE, became preeminent as part of their civic responsibility to the school community where their achievements is rooted. Inspired by the quality of education, they received moral value instilled in them through curriculum of the Lagos State Government Education Board. The 1998 graduating class sprang into action. Fourth, they achieved a fully equipped sick bay to commemorate their 20 years anniversary. Our journey in the um, Government College Agege was eventful and it was fun and educating. And we can actually say boldly that um, who we are today, it's actually as a result of the training and as, as a result of the education that we got from the school. The school actually prepared us for the years ahead. Today is about our 20th reunion and the commissioning of the sick bay. We graduated from the school in 1998 and we are back to celebrate our 28th year reunion. We came together as a group to be able to you know, brainstorm and see what can we do for the school. We actually voted that, okay, let's do the commissioning of the sick bay. There are so many other projects that needed to be done, but we are limited, you know. There's constraints of funds, so we come together, okay, what else, what can we afford? Which of these projects can this set afford? Something that we would do and we would give, you know, happily and voluntarily. And everybody decided and we voted that, okay, let's take on the sick bay. We thought of giving back to our school, to our alma mater. We've been here several times and we thought of what can we give back to them. We had the school, some of the things they needed, and we thought Ealing Bay is one of the things we were able to make this. Mrs. Odunuga Nwafo, an alumni of the school, who is the present principal, applauded the 1998 site of GCA for returning to celebrate the 20 years anniversary in grand style. It gives me a great pleasure to heartily welcome the 98 set of this great college to the school at this auspicious occasion and I am particularly delighted to convey to this great set the profound appreciation of the students with their parents, teaching and non-teaching staff, and the government of Lagos State for your wonderful gesture by coming back to the school to celebrate the 20 years of your graduation from this noble school we are witnessing an historic event that is graciously created by the 98th site of the school. Today, the site has chosen to donate a healing bay to the school to cater for the health challenges of the students. This is a wonderful gesture and I'm particularly honored and greatly elated by this singular honor done to the school. There is no doubt that the 98 sets of the school are worthy ambassadors of the school. They are not only responsible sets. It shows that they are personalities with the fear and love of God Almighty. And they truly care for the prosperity of humanity. We promise to keep tidy and safe the facilities of the healing bay. And we will also ensure our students make the maximum use of the bay for the purpose it was created. It was time for commissioning of the laudable project. I declare this place open on behalf of Dr. 
for um, Abiyose. Okay, to the General Permanent Secretary of Education <coughs> District 1, in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Tutor General of the Lagos State Education District 1, Dr. Yinka Anyodele, represented by Mr. Oluyemi Adeshina, affirms that the project is a right step in the right order as a measure to give back to one's alma mater. It will be of immense benefit because um, when the facility is there, then if there is anything that is noticed, any situation where a student thinks she deserves a rest or little, little medication, then um, it's not everything that uh, will be taken home to the hospital. The place is there, neat, well furbished, and um, comfortable, quite comfortable. So uh, the students will stay there and everything will be all right. So this particular 98 set has done a fantastic job. I'll say it's a pioneer job and I'll urge other sets before them and after them to make sure there is something concrete, there is something remarkable that will be their own contribution to the development of the school. The soon-to-be alumni of GCA, represented by the head goal of the school, perceive the sick bay facility as an exemplary step which they are willing to emulate. I'm feeling very happy and grateful at the same time because a lot of students that maybe they got injured and all they need is um, primary first aid had to be taken out of the school to hospitals and before they get there some students they, they lost a lot of blood but now that we have a sick bay in the school that will make it easier to apply the basic first aid needed by students when we are still in the school we'll make sure that the sick bay is always clean and conducive and when we leave the school this set they have encouraged us to come back to our, our mama mater, our principal. She has taken a bold step. She came, she saw, she conquered, and she's back again. And that has emboldened us to come, see, conquer, and come back again. As girls, they made it through GCA. Now, as women, they have achieved a sick bay project worth over 500,000 naira. With their achievements, they believe the role of a girl child in the society is limitless. You can do whatever you put your mind to do. There is nothing stopping you. The only thing that can stop you is you. Once you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. There is, no, there, there, there is nothing too high for you to achieve. You can aim high and actually work towards it, and you will achieve it. Don't listen to any negative, you know, any naysay. I say, no, you can't do this, or you can't do that, or you're a girl, you can't do this, or you're a woman, you end up in your husband's kitchen. You know, all that kind of uh, mis um, misconception that is going on around. No, don't listen to that. Just know that whatever you put your mind to do, you can actually achieve it.